Hi everyone, this is Usman and today's tutorial is about reading PDFs. Uh, in our last video, we we'll tried to write PDF using PDF PIG library which is open source and free. Today we will try to read a PDF file, the same PDF we wrote last time which has two pages, one with one single line of text which is hello world and the other page has an image. So let's try to find how we can read PDFs using PDF PIG library. Let's start by adding a method for reading PDFs. For that one, I will create a empty method, read PDF, and I will use that method inside our main method in program.cs file. All right, let's try to load that PDF. So we have opened that PDF document, and because this is disposable resource, so we have used using keyword along with that for properly utilizing memory and writing efficient code. Next, let's try to get pages. So there are a couple of methods against that document. We can get all the pages. If we just see the list, we can get all the pages. We can get a single page. We can get information if it's encrypted, number of pages, and a lot of other information is available as well. So we will stick with get page at the moment and let's try to print the first page onto console. Let me press Control S and Control F5. You can see that Hello World is printed on the console, which is great. So this is about reading a text uh, from a single page. What if we want to go through all the pages and want to manipulate different information ar around that page? So if we want to see what page number is, if there are any images then what is it's down, although we can get the whole images as well, we can save those which means we can extract images from a PDF file using that library which is awesome. So currently we are just showing the count, how many images are there and the count of words, how many words are there on that single page. So now let me save that file and again press Ctrl F5. To see that analytics, first thing is the page number is 1. In the first iteration, the page has total 0 images, which is understood. The page has total 2. The page number is 2, uh, which means the page has total 2 words. Basically, there should be page has total. We need to write a single word here, words, just to distinguish between words and images. And let me again press Ctrl F5 to see the results. Let me restart. Alright, so now the page 1 has total 2 words. Now the page number 2 is here. The page number 2 has 1 image. We see that. And page has total 0 words. So page 2 has no text, so that's why it has 0 words. So this is how we can manipulate those PDFs. We can read them and extract data from those PDFs. Uh, although it's not very advanced library, but it gives us a lot of feature without any cost and it's open source, you can contribute in that library as well. And because this is written in C sharp, so you can contribute by writing code by extending that functionality and creating that PR. So that's all from this video. Uh, I hope you now can use that library to generate your PDFs. In case of any question or queries or any ideas, do ask, give feedback in the comments. Until next time, keep coding.